Hey there team, and welcome to episode 95 of the Arnorian narrative campaign. So we've had a little bit of a shuffle, as I've been using my money uh, to try and alter the map slightly. Um, you know, I think we would be wanting at this point to sort of exert our political influence of it to, um, you know, get some of these places back under the control that they, that they should be. So we grabbed Dale, gave it back to Dale, he was a very important player in the in the future for for Arno in the mo you know the far future as to pass this campaign and of course the near future as well. So we purchased it and then sold it back. They were nice, well they were lucky enough to get a bunch of royal guardsmen. So that's going to drain their economy a lot unless they can do something about it. And then we were actually lucky enough to get some barding marksmen. So that's super duper. They'll be a lot of fun and um, they'll be going right into Gandalf's army yes, when he well probably supporting Gandalf when he comes on down. So, um, together with them, we should be able to take down you. Zograd. Uh, Hervigil. Um, originally, the deal with Hervigil was just to go off and damage Rune. Now, that's still the goal. But Rune, or at least Mistrand, currently has the ring. And that's something that we... we would I would love to be that how we end this campaign. You know, the destruction of the One Ring. Will it happen? I don't know, but um, we kind of want to go and get it. The issue right now is uh, Her Hervigal already has yes, my lord. Um, eight retinue. Is it, well, things shoved in there, so we'll need to maybe do something about that. But in addition to that, I think I have more lord, than enough forces coming through here, especially with the Army of the Dead. We'll take care of Thungal, we'll push on further. I think that we can have Aldarian's son, um, Colfinthor, move off to Rune as well. So he's actually going to make his way toward Mistrand too, just from the southern route. So he might end up being our ring bearer. Yes, we'll man. see. I think that'd be quite nice. It'd be Eldarion's son. It is down the line of Aragorn. Eldarion is, you know, you might remember he was going to be our ring bearer. We thought about that an awful lot. Oh, fantastic. We'll take care of Thungol today. Um... Yes. It's been a few days since I last recorded, so I'm just uh, acquainting myself with everything. I say we're not pushing south of the Anduin. That's, well, the, you know, we'll take Ostathiel, but not yet. Um, anything south right now, that's not for us. Not for us to worry about. Estvin may end up jumping on his boat and starting to, you know, do some damage down there if he has to. But for now, hopefully our navy can just, just keep the attacks in check. Mordor is the prize. Umbar is just some very better creatures they're not people yes, that need to die so let's jump into this um zagar again a bit of a better army so this might be a bit more of a challenge for the uh the army of the dead but it should be not a problem let's i think once again kirithungal should be at night it really should be a nighttime attack i'm interested to see what we've got for kirithungal what it sort of looks like um, it might be a pretty interesting little settlement. Courage, I do like Arkira Thungal on Reforge as well, of course. It's uh, it's not uh, it's certainly not very large, but um, it's got everything you kind of need for like a, for a good little battle. And it's, it's fun to use Arkira Thungal as a standard battle map and just kind of have the fort itself as somewhere that you're scrapping out mid-battle. You know, it's not something that's really being held by any one person or... For a free-for-all, it's a lot of fun too. If you can rush forward and claim it, that can be great. But, oh yeah, night attacks are definitely worthwhile here. They just look a lot better. I think I'll do most of my battling at night in uh, in Mordor. Kind of just imagining that, um, you know, the, the Dark Lord is really spamming out his tricks to just try and maximize the, the darkness here. Ah, fantastic. Oh, it is. It's... Oh, so yeah, I in the... In the previous, well, in the previous siege, I called the gargoyles outside of Menasithil. Uh, the Watchers. Now, that was just a slip of the tongue. These are the Watchers, the Watchers of Kirithungal. Um, There's a really cool little lore video about those. I, you know, yeah, they're, they're weird, fun creatures. Um, very spooky indeed. I love that. I love that texture there. That's awesome. Um, the little sort of blocks hanging down from it. Now, this will not actually be too... This could actually be a really fun place to defend. Uh, but still, this is something that... It's not quite the same threat as uh, as Minas Morgul was, of course. But um, still is quite frightening. Can we get on those walls, I wonder? I'll move this up to... 
but once again this is really just Halbrad, the Grey Company and the Oathbreakers getting nearby here. We really are wanting to save this army for the, the fights in the plains of Gorgoroth and so on. Move on for where where even are they? Oh oh wow, interesting. <laughs> I was getting so focused on what we had in Reforce, I didn't even um think to look in here. Oh wow. Um Holy smokes, this is really nice. Yeah, this looks great. I I'm 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 chuffed to bits uh with, with what they've done with this. And um now of course what you'd want to do is defend here instead of back there, but you know, the AI. Right now, this just seems to be what the AI wants to do in, in version 4.5. It really does defend the town centre. Um, not a bad idea, of course, a lot of the time, but it doesn't really make best use of its walls. I, I know that version 5, we are getting some, some big changes to the AI. Um, at least for field battles, I don't know about sieges. Uh, let's just have a quick look. Yeah, yeah, you can climb those. Climb those fine and dandy, but uh, nah, we'll be fine with the Oathbreakers. Just busting the gate in. Uh, they are coming out, so these towers, that's a tower, that's a tower, okay, yeah, uh, that's not a tower, <laughs> um, again, oh, goodness me, Carathongle is just a fun place, I like that, whoa, I like this area of Mordor, um, I like it a lot, and then pushing into Mordor proper, very soon, no, I'm, I'm excited for the fights in Mordor, but, I say this is why we got the oath breakers. You know, we we really did save them for these sieges, so I'll use them for this one. And then I think my plan is to. I mean, again, Aragon doesn't want to just. He doesn't want to lead them on. He doesn't want to. My plan was to use them to take the Black Gate, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I think we'll see what's nearby, and the oath breakers will will maybe just push on, take this, and then the oath breakers will detach from this army and get sent on into Mordor and just strike at something, just bring something down. Even, like, we don't have the the ability or the um, the expectation of holding it. The Oathbreakers are just going in there to scorch, you know, scorched earth type thing. Just come in there, destroy buildings, um, and yeah, have that as, uh, as a happy little um, bit of damage. Rushing on through, well, rushing, you know, walking. No need to be too fast. Actually, yeah, yeah. Let let them let them form up against us. Let them array whatever strength they they want against uh, the, the likes of the Oathbreakers. See, I'm just I'm interested to see if we lose any. So, of course, damage hit point damage from previous battles doesn't matter. So they are all at their full hit points again. So many archers, but. With the amount of armor we have and the shield value we have, again, just showing their stats. 31 shield value, so all of these hits from the front are doing nothing to us. And we're just hacking our way through. Yep, immediately the captain of that unit just getting mowed down. Uh, let's get Aragon. I think he would want to be near. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll have him move on up. I think Halberd. Oh, you can't get on this one. That's a shame. Oh, Halbrad, get on over there. As I say, it's it's not so much that we need to help them, but I think that it's just it's nice to be involved in the situation. Of course, if I didn't have the Oathbreakers, I could come up with my knights. This is a nice open area. I could just be slamming around. More more on guard, not really who you want to. But uh, we could. Yeah, just beating them down. Oh, that's pretty. That looks really nice. Oh, if those were, like, fire arrows coming at us, that would be gorgeous. Um... Yeah, poor man, what a fire. Makes me, makes me think that it could be. Um, we could end up taking some casualties here. But actually saying that, that's a general unit. So they'll they'll come back in my territory either way. Ah, okay, that's why I guess they've got the general there. And that's, uh, I suppose, the Watchers. That's another reason why we're not just sending people in wildly. Like, Aragorn and Halbrad, they will have, they, they have been preparing for this. They, they know what's ahead of them. So yeah, it's, um, you know, he doesn't want to just send in a bunch of his troops to just be intimidated by those creatures. And um, and held back, held in place. I think an Arthodine Knight could be able to push through at <laughs> given time. And of course the men of the Grey Company and Halbarad's uh, experienced steel bowman at this point too would be fine. Slicing down. Morgul Chosen, what have they got for their general here? It's, it's another Nazgul. 
what type? Ah, Temple Marchman. Hey, that's armor piercing fire. Um, but right now it's just firing straight up. Just a few more actually. Yeah, no, push, push through, push through. Let's just get stuck in. Albrad. Oh, they've got to. Oh, they've got to run in there. Ooh, ouch. Move it, move it. Yeah, you can see how much damage that fire is actually doing to us. Get going. Get going. That's all right. Good. A few black uruk archers. It's it's good that the AI has that like intelligence to just know to like target them instead, but um, instead of the oath breakers that they're just not really going to get through. Let's trigger this now. Telling their oath again. Didn't actually look what it did. <laughs> really should have. Um. Yeah, it's too bad you can't get on that wall. You get on this one. I guess what benefit that wall doesn't really provide you any benefit though, so it's fair enough. You don't really need to get on it. Still the old breakers just mowing their way through. Mortal chosen. Certainly a pretty sturdy unit there. But we're just having our way with them. But yeah, I don't I don't see us getting all the way up to the black gate. Um what's that? There's a there's a there's a citadel southwest of the uh, of the Black Gate. Can't remember the name of it. We might go and strike that. Um, but as I say, they'll, they'll, it'll just be some Mordor Mordor city, Mordor, not Mordor city, Mordor fortress or something like that. That will just go and we'll let's spread out. Let's try and do this. Just really individually try and maximise what we're doing here. This is as much of a test for me for the Oathbreakers as anything else. Um, orc archers, orc defenders, no doubt, mixed in amongst this somewhere. This was a... Um, Kirithungal was, of course, built by Numenorean hands. As grim as it looks, it was our forefathers that constructed it. Right, they're not really doing anything from there. Get, get over here. We might be able to reach them. And Aragorn's just kind of observing the carnage from here he's got no real reason to get himself involved but yeah oh that's nice now yeah really just spreading out and just slamming down as many guys as we can more on guard it's their spearmen give them some defensive ability halberds there and are we attacking the temple yes we are oh i love that glitch that's my favorite glitch in the world um oh interesting all oh, right that's kind of fun. He's got. Um, I noticed this with a few of the, the units with the new Reforged patch. That guy, he's striking as if he's got a two handed sword, but he's got his, his sword and his shield. But he's using the animation of a two handed swordsman. Is there anybody else doing that? I'm not seeing anyone. No, I don't think so. He might be like the, the captain or the banner carrier or something. He could actually be the general himself. That That's very possible. Yeah, I'm seeing it zooming on 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 this area, so could could very well be the the general. Um, be be nice if the general had his own model. It's not something that I think is needed by any stretch, but um, it would be a it could be a cool little thing for them. Yeah, just some sort of two-handed swordsman with a little crown on his head, yeah, just splitting these guys down again. Oh. Oh no, no, I thought we had five, uh, 252 at the start of this, but no, it's 251. Where are you guys getting in there? Oh, you've decided to stop. That's that's fair. I understand that. Um, I don't even, I don't think that they would fire at this point. I think they'll just kind of watch up and Aragorn and, and Halbrad will just observe what's going on. Good stuff, slaying a Nazgul. That'd be a fun situation being a Nazgul and seeing the, the army of the dead coming at you. Sagar. Slaying it there. Ooh. Um, but yeah, this will definitely do another good strike to uh, two more. Um, Rune, of course, a very present threat, but if I can just buff up Dale, give them a little bit longer. You know, I don't. I, there's two provinces I want to give them, but if I give them to them right now, as you're saying that, um, Eldarian's son is coming on by. And I think Eldarion's son will move up through that route and uh, he'll kill anything that's going to be threatening them. That sounds good, actually. Right, close your ranks now, boys. And just deal with what's left here. Our men are in command of the it's castle. Good. 
last few orcs and uruks there. Just go and wreck them up. Perfection. Um, what's actually still fine? Oh, more on guard. Have the, the honour of being the last things to die. Uh, but yeah, no, we'll... I think Aragorn will just kind of say to them, like, look, yeah, you're... I mean, maybe that's the thing. Aragorn wants to be watching them because he doesn't... Like, this, there's a lot of dark powers here. He doesn't fully understand what they are. Like, he gets that they are tied to this world uh, because of the, the sins of their past. But he doesn't really, you know, fully understand what it is they are. So, maybe... Um, he doesn't want to just send them off running by themselves. We'll see what's nearby. We'll see what's nearby. Because, of course, we see how deadly they are. Like, if these guys go in and Sauron is able to manipulate them, twist their, twist their minds to what he wants, that's um, a lot of fear. A lot of fear. So, Kirithungal, um, we'll have some people standing guard here. Execute day. Yeah, no, we do. We need a, a handful of defenders of Minas Morgul, but not many. Not many. See, so yeah, there's there's this up here. Um, spy, actually. Yeah. Okay. You guys moving around? There's nothing. I think that that's the better location. See, so we could just send them to strike that, but that's not really all that much of a, a gain for us. Yeah, Durthang. Like, we take Durthang, that's... We could send a few guys along with them. And that could be good. They've only got one more fight, though, so we don't want to... We don't want them to... He looks really cool. I like that guy. Pretty increased. Hey. Good. 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 And yet, for anybody that doesn't know... Oh, it's a special ability. There we go. Uh... Oh, wow, nullifies enemy army combat effectiveness. Oh, whoa. Okay, cool. Um, duration one hour. <laughs> okay. Yeah, duration one hour. Fair play. Good. Um, so I could, like, just... Oh, that, that's nice. We could just go there. And just strike at that. But, like, Durthang is somewhere they gain a lot more power from. Um... So yeah, we'll, we'll have a quick think of that. Is there anywhere else that we have to move or do some Durion or Duron? Yeah, no, you've got to stay there for a little bit longer. Yes, my lord. Just a wee minute, and I think that yeah, we are ending our turn after after we decide here. So we might as well do that now. Okay, let's take you. Your orders, my oh. lord. Um, An order. I think Aragorn's going to stay with the bulk of these forces to prepare. To push in, actually, no, no, I don't, I don't think so. I think, yeah, he would want them to go to Durthang. Durthang is the better place to go to for sure, but um, I just feel that's a bit of a of a long distance to go, and um, the the worry is that just gives more time for for the Dark Lord to to twist them, and he doesn't want to send anybody with them. This will very much just be a case of, like, you do this and you're done. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go for, for this. It's a bit of a softer target, but it really is just Scorched Earth. We're going in there just wiping it out and then coming back. Because we're going to be holding the line here for a little minute. I'm not just going to wildly charge in just yet. We oh. shall slaughter them, I don't know why you went that way. <laughs> That's okay, I don't know why he went that way. They might end up they might feel strong enough to attack him. They shouldn't though, because he is like really powerful. Um, as we've seen before. So yeah, let's just end that then. There will be a bit of movement, but I don't think too much. If there is a skip, then you know why. Um Oh yes, this is uh Arfandil's last son heading on down. He's he's a governor for us now, for sure. His family line have done some great things, but we, you know, we cannot extinct. We don't want them to be extinguished. No, we have others that that are ready to fight. Dale, okay, I want that army destroyed. It's nice that they're putting a. a it's good that they're putting somebody into Dale, but what what I want to see is all of those royal guardsmen getting sent out to fight because it's a massive drain to their economy, and uh, they're a lot of good fighters. 
They under Veil as well. I want to see them moving troops across the board of Mordor. It's just not um not too great. Oh. Yeah, they're gonna need a lot of troops there. Um oh, did they just they upgraded the roads? Very fast. Dwarves get there immediately start building a road. Um Eric Lewin. Yeah, now that they don't really share a border with their enemy, they're just gonna be shuffling around a little bit. So hopefully Erebor can keep the pressure on themselves, but I don't know. Uh, they economy-wise, like not a chance, not a chance in hell. But um, but yeah, the Andu uh, Erid Lewin, not the Anduin Vale. Erid Lewin will just um, you know, gather their strength to to crush them later. Still more elves coming down. Don't know where you're off to. So okay, again, Glorfindel is the guy that I'm I'm excited for. If we get Glorfindel's army over here, that I think is more than enough help. I'd love to take the Black Gate alongside Glorfindel. I, you know, or just have Glorfindel strike the Black Gate by himself and take it. Um, you know, either would be fine. We're just um, I'd like to get some some high elven help toward the you know toward the end of this campaign. It'd be it would be great because we we did a lot of like side by side fighting with them early on, but it's been a while and um, you know we've we've crafted this route for them. So I hope they use it. Even just if they come in for one or two scraps, I'll feel... Oh! <laughs> okay. Um, I guess, yeah, like, Rune are not stupid. They see what's happening. They know what we're going to do. We know They know what we're preparing for. We've been helping their enemies for so long that they're just like, yep, okay, we, we either strike now or, or never. So they're going to go for it, which, yeah, good. No, I like when the AI sort of makes sensible decisions like that. Okay, yeah, I, I'm hoping that Mordor stays strong there. Because if Mordor ends up losing there, then Umbar is going to start attacking me from there. So I'd prefer I'd prefer it to be a stalemate, but I guess like a slightly slightly Mordor-weighted stalemate uh, is, is what I'm looking for there. Mordor's still just slamming troops north. Bad, doing their business. So many troops, yeah, around Minas Tirith. I think I've got enough there for now. Especially if I'm just holding Carathungal for a bit. Which is the which is my intention. Um Oh, another fight. No, just jumping in, no fighting today. And that's that. Deal retaken! Ah, beautiful. Um Oh, that's cool. I get... Oh, that's nice. So this is a message that I think would normally come to Dale, but I've been given it for some reason. That's really cute. Um, Nice. 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 Are Lewin stronger than me, eh? Goodness sake. Because they're not, like, fighting right now. Um, oh, and the wolves are very more like us for going to war with... Um, Rune was not our choice. Well, we were going to do it, just not yet. Uh, these guys, of course, no more crusade and limb here. Oh, uh, yeah, so they'll, they'll come down and, and reinforce anyway, so they, the other armies can go. This one is coming on down. Yeah, as well, that sounds good. And that leaves Albrad and Captain uh, Durden sort of as the main push there. What have we got going on here? Right, they're leaving. Your orders, my lord. Right, where have they gone to? Yes. I don't have any spies nearby, do I? They'll be moving toward their last. They'll be moving here. This is where they're going. Um, I'm gonna just. I'm gonna win there this yes, turn. I better. I should play that since that's the last province of Dolgaldur. I think I'll play that one. I think it's the last province. I'm orders, confident. You guys get moving. Yeah, you're on your two turns away. You guys can get there. Yeah, you guys can get there in no time at all. So let's just get you set up in those forests just so you're a little bit closer they shouldn't come at you they shouldn't come at you and then you they'll strike together um yep we'll do that fight we're not sallying out even if we have the strength no we don't really we're we're in, we're an inside fighting force today uh that's without a doubt you guys oh no where's where's the boys ah there they are Yes, I think, no, yeah, they, they can go back 
back themselves. And then these guys will be following them up, not too far behind. We'll sort out an army during the off time. Um, no movements yet for the boys. See, we could strike Durthang. I just feel, if I destroy Durthang, that's, that's one of their final um, like really powerful spots uh, around here. But just, like, Durthang, Minas Morgul, and Kirithungul are these three, like, major powerful locations, and I think that would be a fun thing to just do with the, the Oathbreakers. Like, those are the three locations um, that they took down. Or we are happy enough just taking out. Because we, we bring that down. As I say, we're not holding it. We're just going to go in there, burn everything, just set Mordor back a little bit. And um, and maybe that'll be okay. Uh, Durthang? No, I think Durthang. I think it's 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 within reach, and um, I think we'll take Durthang. We'll, oh God, the a ladder a ladder will be enough. <laughs> Ladders will be enough. They're not going so, anywhere. yeah, that'll be okay. We'll take him out, destroy as much as we can in there. Let's have a quick look. What's this mortal? to see very cool all barren oh some mountainous some mountainous um but mostly barren and then yeah I, aragon you can stay there for a turn partly just waiting for the high elves to catch up Your orders, my lord. um moving oh dead marshes oh spooky yeah i mean that's cool actually yeah um definitely a, a pretty unpleasant thing i mean my lord's been been around the block for a while like he, he he knows what's going on he's not gonna be like too scared by that but it's it's an intimidating thing for anybody to deal with yeah you guys get there i think now is our time i think this is the only fight we've really got to do this turn that's about halfway holy smokes is this gonna be what what type of defense is this ah this is uh, right this is an orcish defense i'm surprised by that um yeah i don't know how it's i don't know how it's putting that together but a okay all all mints them all the same uh so once we destroy this oh that's really pretty holy smokes um once we destroy this that spawned army should just stand still hervigil's got to go and kill it but at least it's not going to be running away from it uh yeah that really is gorgeous Our foes appear to be gaining the upper hand in this i think lothlorien's definitely well I, I don't think that's a bold thing to say. I think Lothlorien is like the prettiest place that you'll find um, in the universe. Um, we will go... Uh, I'm sure there's pretty pretty places in the entire universe. <laughs> I just mean in the uh, in Tolkien's universe. We'll go for... Do we want to fight amongst that? Nah. Oh wait, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm attacking. They're not selling. Uh, yeah, get back on your stuff. Sorry about that, boys. Um... And we'll get the archers set up because they will probably be deployed right next to the gate and then they'll run away. That's kind of what they like to do. Uh, we'll get the, the horse archers over there too because I'm not going to be putting you into the fight too much after this anyway. So we'll begin. What are they doing? They've got no worry. That's the nice thing about fighting to like They just haven't been using artillery. And um, so you can kind of just shoot them up a bit. Let's get the hillmen forward then to start bashing that door down. A few good shots in the back of those slayers. That's alright. Oh, what's this? Gobble stalkers. Get you guys running over there. I know I'm just doing a crisscross, but that's fair. That's just what you gotta do sometimes. You, uh, yeah, you guys drop that ram, I see. Mm. Nah, nah, yeah, leave it dropped. I think they're gonna come out at us. It's looking like it. Run. You guys run over here. I think I might be dropping that ram in a minute. Um, it's just looking pretty wild. Oh, you guys get forward, start laying down fire. Just make sure we're spread out as best we can um, before they make contact. Because, yeah, they are, they're really rushing us. Okay, engage, engage. You guys stay with the plan. Stay with the plan. You guys, yeah, drop that ram. Just slam right down the middle there, hellmen. You guys get over there. I'm going to have my 
lumbermen and savages getting around, and huskarls getting around the side there. You guys, yeah, move forward a little bit, start laying out some damage there. Ooh, cavalry team hits. Oh, that's nice. Few little targets for their archers, trying their best. Uh, yeah, push, push, push. Engage. These blade masters. You can see that the poison arrows do some good work. That would definitely scare me if I was like a lower morale faction. You know, if the Breelanders were coming out here. And uh, I'm doing this. As see, I do want to do my, my Breeland campaign at some point. I'm gonna be it's gonna be somewhat similar to this. Um, but instead of being Arnor, I'm gonna be the Breelanders, like Breelander Arnorian loyalists. That um, now the good thing about that is I shouldn't actually have to fight as many battles because I'm going to be buffing up Arnor and trying to help them be the the powerhouse. I'm going to be kind of these elite in terms of Bree, just going around and, and supporting them, which should um, make sure that I'm not like fighting as often. I don't get me wrong; I, I enjoy, I do enjoy the fights, and uh, I, no, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't be playing this if I didn't. It's just there. I sometimes do worry about the the entertainment value of it, and uh, you know I, I feel you can only really see me fight in the same manner so many times before it's maybe a little bit boring. But um, I mean, hell, if you're if you're still sticking around to uh, to episode ninety, blooming five, uh, hopefully I've done something right. <laughs> but yeah, uh, push on, push on. And engage, engage and back. Uh, definitely, um, something I would, if there is anybody, right now we're in the year, you know, the year of our Lord, 2021, the time of my recording here, and the time of uploading this video. But if there is anybody that's come across this video, like, years down the line, um, and is watching it, I would really appreciate if i'm still <laughs> looking at stuff i would appreciate a quick comment um if you don't mind just just let me know when you uh when you did come across this uh what you what you know yeah what year it currently is and sort of why you're watching it now that's uh that would all be very you know worthwhile to me just you know because I, I come across these these campaigns that were uploaded in you know, like 2016 and so on. And I, you know, I sometimes watch them and I quite enjoy them. But, um, just randomly getting them recommended on, on the side of your, side of your YouTube. But I would just be interested to know, like, how did you, how did you come across it? And, um, you know, are you just jumping in midway through or, ha or did you come across it and then start at the beginning and so on? Uh, gateway captured, A, okay. Blooding on in, good. And as, as I say, I like to, my, my viewpoint with a lot of this stuff and my viewpoint with mainly the whole channel is I like to try and show you guys everything. You know, I show you everything and then you can choose what you want to skip and when you want to skip and so on. What you want to watch at two times speed, what you want to watch at 0 0.5 speed, that's all up to you. I want to just provide you as much of that content as possible so that you can make that decision. Um, I don't want to really think like, oh, wait, no. I, I, I know I've done that a lot, and that's, yeah, that is a lot of time saving, I'm afraid. There's, that's all there is to it. But there's a lot of time in this campaign where I have done a done a situation, done a battle or something, and I've thought like, oh, God, that's not going to be too interesting to people. But, you know, they, they, can, they can just skip it. <laughs> you know, I don't want to make that decision for you. You know, if you are the type of person that wants to watch everything, then all the power to you but um and yeah i want to try and make sure that i'm i'm providing that but because it's a lot easier for you to just skip something rather than um sorry team speak is getting like blasted uh, in case you do hear those little bing bong noises um yeah like if there is a i've sidetracked myself sorry team speak <laughs> Oh, those orc defenders are on us. That's actually gonna I'm gonna take a lot of losses from my armsmen, as you can see. Ooh. Well now we're we're bordering up with a with a bad enemy here in the form of uh Oh goodness, oh that shadow oh, those shadow guard are not gonna be fun for the for the savages. 
Markwood Orcs, Slayers, and Markwood Orcs in the back. That's okay. Oh! Sorry. Yep, you guys engaged. Cavalry, you don't engage. Only and the enemy force good. Remains. Bashing them down quite effectively so far. Let's get you guys inside over here. What's this? Um, okay, engage, engage. How did that little charge go? Seemed to have gone quite nicely, actually. That's good to see. Um, Nemrick yeah, Woodrex just staring us down. I think the general's on with that. That's a very close range charge. I don't think you're going to be able to pull it off, but even a quick bump up against three of those guys might be enough to take them out. Yeah, that's not. Damn. That's okay. It was a bit too bold of me, but I just kind of wanted to take them out so that I could have then sped on in. To the back of those. Um, Shadow Guard. Can you try? Try and see if you can nail a quick charge there. Yeah, the Mercury Dirks are getting in our way now. Gobo Headhunter's firing off. Sentinels, see if you can get on over there. That'd be lovely. Oh man, go, go, go. Armsmen, go, go, go. In the back here. Back those Gobo Stalkers. How did that little charge go, eh? It looked alright. Yeah, I've seen a lot of dead guys. Good. Not too many of the Wardens getting in your way. I'm going to have you guys run around here. Uh, where are those nine cavalry cavaliers? Go for the Oryx Slayers. Just be careful, because there are Mirkwood Oryx really close. You guys engage them. Just shoot them to pieces, please. Oh man, fighting away. Uh, Huskars. Push, push, push. Out of that. Mm, not so good, not so good. Actually, really not so good. Yeah, get out of that, get out of that. Don't know, do not know what happened there. Um, and you guys just decided not to... Oh, whoops. Oh, that's me being dumb. Okay, that's why. Sorry about that, boys. I thought the 9 was there and the 13 was there. And those Mirkwood Arcs are going to have to go get beaten down by our Lumberman. Go for it, boys. You guys push in. You guys fold around. Keep shooting them in the back, though. Cavalry, you guys get inside. We might be able to find a purpose for you in a minute. Push on here. I just started watching uh, the season two of Snowpiercer. Uh, as it stands, I really liked Snowpiercer season one. Um, if it's, I don't really like a lot of the Netflix stuff. There's well, there's a lot of Netflix shows I think just could have been a lot better. But um, but no, like I watched Snowpiercer and I was like, oh, smokes, this is great. Um, no, I I think. The actors, like, acting is a big deal for me. Uh, I mean, it's a big deal for everybody, but, like, I don't know, actually. I can get through some poorly acted scenes. I think writing is probably the main thing. Like, as long as the writing makes some good sense and the character decisions, like, they match, like, what the character would do. I like, you know, and I like intelligent characters. I don't, I'm not saying I need, like, um... I don't need everybody to be blooming uh, Littlefinger from Game of Thrones. I'm not looking for that. Or <laughs> early Littlefinger from Game of Thrones. Um, I'm not needing something like that sort of smart. But just like, I like my characters to be like, okay, yeah, I understand that. That's a sensible choice. They've they've thought that out and, and this is this is why they're doing that. Good, good for them. Good for them. And then if it doesn't go well, if their plan fails, I'm like, oh, damn, that's a shame. You know, I, I would have probably done the same thing. So I would have failed. And it feels, feels kind of good. There's a show... Actually, to be honest, that's another Netflix show, isn't it? Uh, Kingdom. The uh, Korean, like, medieval zombie uh, TV show is so, so good. And that is that is really that to the core. Like, there were so many things that people were doing, and I was like, wow, that's, this is really smart. I'm so, gl I'm so glad that, like, you know, these people are in charge of this situation. And, um, you know, it's this is exactly you know what i would have done and um and then when failure happens it's not because they've been stupid you and you feel genuinely bad for them you're like you guys did absolutely everything you could have in this situation and um you did the best with the information you had uh there was no reason to like yeah so it's, it's it, it was good yeah there's some good twists in that in that tv show but uh, really nice if you have watched it. But I, I think is I, I state a lot. I freaking love zombies, so it's not. It might not be as amazing for everybody else as for me. Um, speaking of loving zombies, I was there's a channel called Melkor 
I'm sure if you know about me, you know about Melkor. He does a lot of he does a lot of like comedy videos about like Rome Total War and, and medieval two Total War as well. You know, uh, yeah, yeah, like a lot of the really old Total Wars uh, at this point. And yeah, he's pretty damn funny. But he showed up a well, he showed a mod um, for Rome Total War, which was a zombie apocalypse mod. So it was like, you know, the, the Rome Total War campaign, but, you know, you've got these, these zombies, the like, spreading and, and lurking around. And I was like, holy smokes, that's what I've been wanting for a really long time. Just, like, trying to have my Total War campaign, and then slowly, like, there's a zombie menace that's taking over. And, you know, it's, it becomes more about survival. Like, that's the reason I love, like, the end times period in... Um, when I'm playing a a Warhammer campaign, you know, because you're you're fighting away, you know, you're the high elves battling away with these lizard men in Lustria, and then suddenly it's like, hey, <laughs> welcome to you know, welcome to chaos, and um, so you've suddenly got to to survive against uh, these this overwhelming, really powerful army, and I was looking forward to that. I was really looking forward to this uh, this zombie mode, but unfortunately, it's just. Um, it's not stable enough. Like, the, they put out the last version of it in 2017. I don't think the guy's been... Like, he, he was working on it from, I think, 2015 to 2017, but then he stopped. So, I don't and I don't think he's picking... I don't think he's still working on it. I don't think he has been. So, it's a bit of a shame. Hopefully, um, as I say, Melkor did a video. I downloaded it. I think a bunch of other people have downloaded it. He might be like, oh... People are interested. I might go back and, and edit it or finish it. I would be overjoyed. I would be so, so happy if they um, if they did come back to it. I don't think I don't see it happening. I don't I don't think they will, but you know, we, we can dream. We can dream. That is them dead, right? Lord of Dogledur is dead. Faction destroyed. Dogledur. Hey, fantastic. A long time coming. A really long time coming, but it's it's done now. Right, so what's the what's the plan here? Rune is there. I am now properly at war with them. I want to give stuff to Dale. This is a big border. That is a really big border. Oh goodness sake. Okay. Um I'm gonna be holding holding the line here until uh I think I may even have to get Malor. I think Malor's gonna have to go and smash that and then come on in. Eh, damn it. Okay, well that that's yeah, the plan was Malor would do that and then kind of lurk around the Black Gate. Um, am I going to... I'll give away Robert. No, Robert. No, I can't. Yeah, I can't. Um, do I want to... I might give Robert to the Dalians. Because this army... That's not able to deal with... I don't know. I don't know. Nah, nah. Hold, hold the line for now. Let's not make a rash decision. No, when we have armies coming in, because we if we end up losing these guys, then we have our armies coming behind them. It's just it's just recurrence. So I think I think he will because he'll be going straight to Wahlberg. No, he would have gone up this way. This army will march down this way. See if they can find him. Uh, but either way, I think we're doing a break. Is there anything I want to buy from my allies to give to my other allies? I don't think so. I think Dale is complete. Dale is happy. Um, I think Hiles are doing alright. They don't need anything more. No, so I think I'm going to be spending all of my money on myself today. So I'll be right back. Okay, good. Yeah, uh, spending a good bit of cash on Gondorian troops. I can recruit some Lamadon clansmen now, which is quite nice. Uh, I really do like those guys. I would, I would really be overjoyed about sending troops from Gondor up to Khazad-dûm for retraining, but no, um, that's just not going to happen. I think with a, with most of the troops that are trained in Gondor, they are going to be remaining to defend Gondor, primarily from the south, um, but also, you know, we want to have Minas Tirith have a bit of a garrison, as Gilead have a bit of a garrison. Just, as I say, more for anything else, for nothing else, kind of a narrative sense of like, um, Aragorn is, is taking a risk. He, he's marching into Mordor itself, and uh, he knows that it's very possible that it's uh, it could go badly. You know, he could be killed. Um, 
Albarad could be killed. There could be just a situation where there is a rout. And if that was to occur, he needs to know that people will be um, like able to have some time to uh, to reorganize. So if there are no troops garrisoning the likes of Osgiliath, then you know it's it's currents. We're done. <laughs> so yeah, and it it's just provide at that point it would be just a case of providing time for the elves to come and fix things. Uh, the elves to come in and save the day, you know, and uh, that's um that would be the deal. But that's so yeah, the Gondorian troops that we're raising up are are primarily for that role, and the Dol Amrothian, the yeah the Amrothian guys. I can't get Amrothian cavalry yet. I'm really excited for that. I I hope I can. I don't I don't know if I can get Amrothian calf. You could argue it's oh goodness me. You could argue it is a little bit excessive because I do have the likes of the Arthurine Royal Guard. Um, that is a bit nastier there, actually, from Rune. Um, we stand yeah, like, I kind of, I didn't us. expect Rune to be coming at me this early. Um, but okay, no, we're good. We'll, we'll still take Kilibrin and, uh, throw that at the High Elves. I don't think Mordor is going to screw with it. I don't see them attacking it. Um, so then we'll just have to, have to get to work. With uh, with Malo running east to go and fight um, fight against Rune, yo, please don't please don't fight me. I wanna um, I wanna see Durthang. Okay, good. Yeah, um, I was thinking about this as well. I kind of like the idea of Aragon because the the Oathbreakers there do these kind of mystical things. Um, I like the idea that instead of actually marching through the plains, they just moved across the mountains, like from Kirathongul. Aragorn kind of just explained to them, this is where you're going. <laughs> you know, just go there, do this, come back, and that's it. You are. You will be given the freedom at that point. So, so yeah, they would have just trans like gone across the mountains, and that's why they went alone, because there's nobody else that has the, <laughs> the ability to to just traverse those mountains so quickly. Uh, or at all, uh, as the case may be. Why didn't I am sieging pretty hard there? Yo, whoa, yo, okay. Ah, damn it, I was really hoping to destroy those fleets. I don't, I wanted Despin's army to remain, like, really quite healthy. Now let's go return to Mordor. Fair, wait. Wait. Ooh. Okay. Okay, that's cool, actually. That's really, um... That's something I really wanted to have happen, and I'm really excited that it has. Fantastic. Good stuff. Okay, Halvrad, continue on <laughs> with what you're doing, my man. But, um, okay then. The Nazgul are back. Camel, right, good. Um, yes, yeah, so the boys have returned. Camel is now fully um, bad boy for Mordor. Yes, my Right, Kilibrin. Uh, you cannot attack right away. Uh, just, yeah, build some rams. Build a lot of rams. That's it, okay. Yes. Um, elves, we need you. <laughs> come, come, please. Right, Duron. Uh, yeah, you're holding there. F yeah, I think, unfortunately, he's kind of just got to sit there. Arafor is, God, Arafor is pretty healthy, yes, but... No, he's, he's going to stay to... What have we got going on with this army? I think this is a battle. Like, this shouldn't be too bad, but I, I definitely want to play that show that anyway Gondorian cavalry militia oh it's them boys look at that look I, that's one of my favorite looking units in the damn game the umbar Gondorian infantry it looks so so sick um yeah i think whoever like wh whoever came up with the idea to do that and whoever actually did it is is amazing now uh who's this farazon right okay navy get the job done and get this one done. Wrap them here, please. Um, oh, yeah, sent them packing. Sent them packing, by the way. What are we doing health? Oh, goodness me. Pretty badly busted. Some of those guys will probably end up returning. Um, okay, we can retrain you and you. And you. Fantastic. Okay. So some of the others, like um, the really busted up guys, I think all of you, really. Uh, if you hop them back to Mithrast. I'll have you retrain. Okay, 24. Where are you? You can make your way up to there. Leaving the fleet. 
Super. Um, damn, I really want a bacon roll. Um, yeah, just had that craving there. Um, of course, I've given up brown sauce for Lent, but which Lent is happening while I'm recording this. It's long done by the time this comes out, I think. Um, right, yeah. You guys go up from Minas Tirith. You'll be defending, yeah. You're not going to be going east of Isgiliath. Most, uh, well, those going to Orin Cav. Most likely not. Let's get the boys armoured up, if we can. So we finish this yes. with... What we'll do is we'll finish this with the Battle of Durthang. Um, have a quick oh, walk to see if we bump into the boys. No, orders, damn it. How fast are they going? As you wish, mm. we can go no further today. It's okay. Uh, spy... It's so, such a big area. Yeah, just follow the road. Follow the road. That's your. You're better off with that. And Gandalf. Yes. He's getting closer to there. Yeah, we'll finish this with the Battle of Durthang, and then we'll start next episode with the Battle of Gotofalas. Bang. Hopefully, oh, that'd be nice if they come in as reinforcements. Ah, they're not going to. I guess they might have even refused the uh, the chance to come in. That would be funny. Save this and jump into it. There'll be no escaping us so now. the final battle Attack. of the Oathbreakers, uh, taking out this great fortress, this final great fortress of Mordor. Unfortunately, like the others, we will not be able to hold it, but they will just be tasked with coming in, clearing it out of all creatures, and then oh, good. oh no no no. Oh, this is going to be an automatic fail. Oh, no. No, no, no. This is going to be an automatic fail. And we are not going to be able to fight again. Yeah, we're going to run away straight away, aren't we? Defeat is ours on this day. Ah, no, 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 no. Cruel twist of fate that no. Okay. Um, I, I'm going to be a bitch. <laughs> I'm going to be a bitch. Definitely. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not willing for that. Because uh, we would know, we would, yeah, no, 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 no. We're taking a ram. Uh, it's going to take four turns to build a ram, but no, we're, we're doing that. Sorry, boys. <laughs> sorry for anybody that is deeply disappointed by that, but no, no way. I'm, uh, I'll be going back and, and building a ram instead of a ladder. Um, yeah, I should have thought about that. Ladders are risky. Yes, but this implies we no, fear them. No, 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 no. So no bull death. No. So all right, so they automatically just die. I think maybe next turn we get we'll get something fancy. Um let's just go back to that save there and uh and refuse. So instead of that, let's do the Gobel Tofel last fight. <laughs> to finish it off. I think we're we're we'll be going over an hour by that point, but It'll be, it'll be fine. And, um, and we'll have to begin with the, well, yeah, we won't be able to begin with that. That'll be, it'll take them four turns to build the ram. And they'll get it built. We'll get it built, but that'll be okay. Maybe they, they might end up doing something sallying out. Ah, crumbs, can I not? Withdraw from battle? Yeah, good. And then, yeah, you're still just sitting there. No! Uh, oh, clicked on the wrong thing. Moving to crush the enemy. Yeah, four turns. That's okay. That's okay. Only a Take your time, boys. Take your time. So it would just be probably there, spending some time spooking around it. Um, because they've got total freedom. They're not tied to people now. They can just do as they please. That's Yo, right. Oh, that's them running all it's the way over there. Ship. And Ispin. No, they're probably going to sprint away. They're not. They're taking this fight. Fantastic. Alfaris well, faithful, nice and beefy, and then they've got the uh, Dunaim arms. And how do they how do they compare to my boys? Right, um, sixteen armor value. That is, I think that's them at their max armor by the looks of things. Um, Fourteen attack, twenty nine total defense. Whereas my guys, I can't see. All right, we'll just have to remember. Um, yeah, fourteen. We outnumber them. We've got if that's a full unit, I think we outnumber them a little bit. But yeah, so fourteen, twenty nine. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see when we jump on in. Is there any? I oh, know there are the archers. Yeah. Sure. So, um, yeah, this will be a fun little fight. 
just just ending some uh, some uh, pirate boys, some wannabe Numenorians, and um, enjoying it. I I was hoping to catch as say just smash all those guys in the seas to save Estvin's army. I want to make I want to make sure Estvin's army is as healthy as it can be. Oh wow. Okay then. Yeah, of course our yeah. Wow, there. That's something to remember. Okay, they are a bit better than us here, and we don't have as well. We've got we don't have the high ground. We do not have as much of an archer dominance as we normally do. Anyway, uh, we've got a lot of armor piercing, Arthur named Footman though. That'll work in our favor, and then you guys all behind. Now what are we missing there? Oh, some armsmen. Uh, yeah, you guys can go there, and the bandits. You guys can go on that flank. Not really anything that we have shock. That could have been good for this. Oh, goodness me. Okay, right. Go up six times speed. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. This is going to be a really tightly packed battle. Just across this, like, really narrow area. It's going to destroy their, eff their effectiveness of their cav. Which is good. My men are going to be tired by the time we climb up there. But, um... Yeah. It's okay. This is where you want some artillery or... I mean, yeah, so I guess it's good that I don't have any real, like, shock. I wouldn't be able to charge around too well. Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing, cavalry? You the South Rome boys? Ah, uh, no. Bondor Militia. I mean, they've been controlled by them for a long time, so... It's only fair that they've got some of the boys on their side. Yeah, keep moving, boys, keep moving. Get, get ourselves focused in over there. Fresh, still all fresh, that's good. Not tired out yet. We'll get to there, we'll start shooting at them. Get off guard mode. Because we do have, the, the archers we do have are pretty damn long range. Let's shuffle forward, please. Shuffle forward. Okay, yeah, so we might be able to, like, outrange them. This might not be too bad, actually. Yeah, and now we do, yeah, we're on the even, we're on even footing. So it's just kind of combat width is really, really narrow here. And we do have, ah, okay, we do have some Max, or, well, Golden Chevron boys, so that's a bit better. I'm not trying to have them go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. Oh, okay. Right, they looked like they were trying to sort of get away from us for a second, but rush forward. I want to shoot them while they're doing this little Ronda Rousey attempt. Yeah, Bowman, Rosadan Bowman, um, Rosadan Footman, kind of the Belagar Footman, I suppose. Alternatives. Yeah, just shoot at what you can. Arch Militia, worthy target there. Uh, Southron Lancers, most certainly. Nice to take out. I'm excited to see if the Umbar forces end up bringing a Bloomin' Mumikill at any stage. That would be funny. I'd be overjoyed to try and take on one of them. Seeing how, like, sturdy the Great Beasts are, yeah, I think... I think that'd be a fear. Uh, a real fear causing thing. Yeah, blasting up the Archer Militia. Hopefully if I can just abuse them enough, they might decide to come charging toward me. Um I have inflicted some good casualties there. A shame to just fill these arch militia up with arrows, but that's what it takes. Okay, good. Looks like they might be coming at us. I think so. I think it has sparked them into being aggressive. Good. Rosadan Halberdiers, that's definitely your chosen target. You guys, Rosadan Bows, not really too worried about that. Marines, definitely a concern. We saw how freaking messy they were in the last time. And they're very fragile looking. Shari, oh wow, Shari Blades. This is a really cool, like, Southron force. Go for the Alparazon Faithful there, please. Let's just let them get a little bit closer before we charge on in. It looks like they're coming around our left flank, which is going to lose them that, uh, that height advantage considerably. Wonder Cav, you guys just get on them for now. Yeah, I think now is the time. You guys go for that. You guys start coming down here. Oh, some of these guys were raised up in Topalas. Rush there. You bandits make your way in a little bit behind. 
You guys just push right on down the middle there. And you guys spread across all the lines there. Okay then. Okay. Yeah, we are dropping them. We could kind of just probably go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them comfortably at range for a while, but... No, I don't think I want to do that. Yeah, you guys run. Get those Gondorian Cav. Sethron Lancers are back there. Shoot them in a minute when I get a chance. Engaging them now. Raiders, everyone took over our wardens. Yeah, brutality there. Oops, the daisies. Gondorian infantry. Oh yeah, let's look at these guys. Oh, I just love their shoulder, their pauldrons there. It, they, they really are cool. They really are cool. They, they do make you want to play uh, the Art of Nime, without a doubt. Goodness me, I am suffering some heavy casualties on those front lines, though. Maybe I was a bit too spread out with my attacking. Um, bandits, get on over there. Right, you guys. Target those... Nope. Target those Southrone Lancers. You guys over here. Going to Cav, they're doing alright. Yeah, you guys get spread over there. Bandits get over those Ashari. Yo, those Blade Masters are struggling. Holy smokes. Good quality guys here, I guess. I mean, I fought the Urukai. They're very good quality fighters, but they're, you know, the Urukai mainly are good for their armor. And their armor piercing ability, where these guys are just tough. And they do a lot of damage, too. Oh, goodness me. Bandits versus Ashari Blades. You're both hooded with your faces covered. Come on, bandits, you can do it. Uh, we need somebody to do it. Right, Sethron Lancer's running off there. No, just keep, keep petting them if you can. Keep petting them if you can. Because they could really spell some ruin for us. But we're curling down the line now. Rosadan and Bo is running off. You guys start trying to chase. Only half the enemy we don't have cavalry in this, unfortunately, so... We'll be able to catch them. This is a small island, so they're not going to be able to run out of our out of our range. We'll wipe them out, even if it takes another battle. You guys get moving. Let's shoot those Ashari blades. Oh, that's actually doing okay up against those Ashari blades. But this will be different. Yeah, the Gondorian infantry will, will slice on through them. Yeah, dying pretty fast. Ooh, enemy general dropped. Okay. I like, I like to think he was maybe a... Because he was in with the Southrone Lancers, I like to think he was maybe a, a full-on Haradrim dude who had just gained the favour off the uh, the Ardenaeum for this attack. They probably they probably knew it wouldn't go too well, so they might have not wanted to risk one of their more pure-blooded generals. You know, kind of like, send him if it goes well, great. If it doesn't, it's not really too much of a no no issue for us. But saying that, they run they don't have endless amounts of troops. I guess I am like doing damage to Mordor, but they've still got Harad to deal with. They've still got Khan to deal with. And just dealing with and I'm not I'm far from done with Mordor. Even after Durthang has fallen, it's gonna be an issue. Push over here. Super duper. Come around this way. Zorzagar. Oh, I'm trying. I'm thinking about the the boys, and I'm a bit worried about even after I have a ram. What's to stop the towers accidentally like killing it? Not accidentally. What's to stop the towers killing my ram? That'll be scary. I'll uh, I'll have to be. The enemy army flees good. The yeah, now do do we can catch catch. Down. Yeah, eighty three. We should hopefully be able to catch a few more boys if we are quick yeah if, if even if not then just just catching like the likes of the alfarazon's faithful faithful will make the uh the next scrap a little bit easier hopefully estvin has some good medical abilities um that will get us down to 12 12 i'll be happy with 10 i'll be overjoyed somewhere between a-okay yeah i can't can't be too upset about it uh, they're getting off there. Try and, oh, they are. Ardenai Marmsman. Didn't really see these guys in the fight too much, but... I love their shields. Yeah. Damn good units, really. I think that must be them at their max armor armor level. Has to be. 
just catch them. No, 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 no. Makes me happy. What we end up. Oh, wow. Holy smokes, Esfin. Very well done. Uh, how do we actually do there? Yeah, like our, our, our Arthur Down Footman did not too bad. Whoa, well done, boys. Yeah, the Arthur Down Footman did quite well. The deal, uh, Dinosign Armsman even. Racking up some nice kills. Those bandits did their very best. They they were thrown in some nasty spots. Um, but yeah, overall, overall a okay. Um, good, good. But we'll be calling it there. I think. What's the ninety five? Yeah, no, no. Map reveal just yet. Um, it's kind of nice. I don't I don't know where that is. Could be tall for us. It's a bit bit small, a bit small maybe, but. Could be. And um but it's a nice theme for the recent fight just there. Oh man oh man. No, I would I would like release them, but the problem is like they'd be released into the island. You know, that's an issue. Yeah, good stuff, Estran. And his army is still really a okay. Uh I mean a few of them pretty badly bloodied up but really not too bad we we feel okay with that whether or not i push south oh we'll see we'll see if they if they start being a menace there um yes, like we can hold them for a while but i think Esteban will just make his way down probably just smash umbar like i'm not gonna screw around with them like if they if they want to play ball like we are not we're not gonna dance around it we are gonna smash them um i was surprised how quickly the dogal doer boys came back. I didn't expect that. Uh, I thought it would be a few turns. But yeah, uh, so thank you guys very much. Uh, that was episode 95 and I'll see you later.